if you have bonus of plus two to all skill points that would mean a total of 18 points on skills because there are nine different skills if you try also to compare to other destinies the might sorcery finesse destinies have more bonuses than others hello guys welcome once again to my series of kingdom of amalur builds this time, I present to you my Universalist build at level 30. At level 30, my Universalist is a polymath. His experience with the varied dangers of Amalur has honed him into a dilettante of combat. Felling countless foes has prepared you for any battle. His bonuses are the following. Plus 17% of melee attack damage plus 17% of range attack damage, plus 17% of magic attack damage, equip requirements reduced by 25%, plus 2 to all skills, plus 10% total damage resistance, and plus 7% chance to critical hit. My Universalist at level 30 is proficient in all kinds of combat. He can deal a good amount of damage in melee. He is efficient with long-range attacks, and he can cast spells if needed. He can also take decent amount of damage with the help of the following skills. Skillful Defense, Hardy Constitution, and Shield of Protection. In the same way, his attack skills are augmented with the following skills. Weapon Mastery, Power Strike, Confusion Force, and Venom Edge. The Universalist is a pretty little much of everything. He can engage to the enemies in both melee and range. He also has bonuses with magic. To maximize this damage, he wields a great sword and chakrams as his primary and secondary weapons respectively. I always see the Great Sword as the best weapon in Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Although it is a slow weapon, however, it can deal a lot of damage. And because of how it is wrong when you attack, you can deal damage to multiple enemies at once. The Shakram is also a great weapon. It can also hit multiple enemies. Besides, it is cooler than the Longbow. If you have difficulty in juggling with Shakrams, this is my tip. Once you are able to toss your enemy in the air, give a slight pause in your attack, wait for your enemies to get close to the ground, it is only when you press attack. Before combat, he can set traps to gain advantage against his enemies, but mostly, he kites his enemies with range with his chakrams, storm bolt, and ice barrage. When they get close, he can use his great sword to deal more damage, and if he has the opportunity to toss his enemy in the air, he juggles them with his chakrams. Because of his envenomed edge ability, he has also a chance of weakening his enemies with poison. When his enemies is out of reach with his chakrams, he can cast either Storm Bolt and Ice Barrage. One cool ability that I would want to point out is their Relentless Assault. If you put at maximum, you will not get interrupted when attacked for 20 seconds. If you have bonuses in your abilities, it could reach up to 30 seconds. This ability is great against ranged enemies like sorcerers. It is useful in getting close to your enemies. If you get swarmed, you can still attack or cast spells. This is how he distributed his abilities. In the Might Ability Tree, Skillful Defense, Hardy Constitution, Adrenaline Surge, Retort Mastery, Power Strike, Relentless Assault, Cusive Force, and Bella Frenzy. In the Sorcery Ability Tree, Storm Bolt, Conservative Casting, Shield of Protection, Chakra Mastery, Ice Barrage, and Chain Lightning. In the Finesse Ability Tree, Shadow Flare, Assassin's Art, Frost Trap, Invenom Edge, 
inoculation, and IC explosion. When you try to make Universalist build, you would notice in the mid and late levels that there will be a number of ability points that you need to spend, even though you do not really need it. For me, this is still okay with the build because you're also compensated with skill points. If you have bonus of plus 2 to all skill points, that would mean a total of 18 points on skills because there are 9 different skills. If you try also to compare to other destinies, the Might, Sorcery, Finesse destinies have more bonuses than others. How will you build your Universalist or your Jack of All Trades character around mid-level? You can write your answers in the comment section below. I would really like to hear your opinions on the build. If you enjoy this video, you can give it a thumbs up. For more Kingdoms of Amalur build, there are links at the end of this video and in the description box below. And if you want to support my channel, it can really help a lot by subscribing. See you in the next video. Ciao!